the ideas just want to tell stories. And I mean, you, how many of you know how your mother and father met? Probably most of you. That's a story you want to be sure to tell to your children. And everybody has that story. And it's a story that connects us all. Now, one of the things that we do with this is, when I show that film, I can sell that film to any teenager. Because they see those, there are two things a teenager says when they see this. One, that's great. Two, I can do that. Uh, and therefore, what we're trying to do with students is engage them to tell their own family stories, but engage them to do stories on their town's Jewish history. We said something so meaningful with these statistics that, you, that, that we know everything about how Jews died and we don't know how they lived. And that was exactly why Centropa was founded. The, and, and, and we believe that, there's, that this is a rich history that belongs to all of us. Sometimes I have thought that Holocaust education in Europe, and you're going to have to forgive me for saying this because I'm only being, I'm only half joking. Sometimes I think Holocaust education for places like Hungary, Romania, and Slovakia were created by, shall we say, it, naive Americans, angry Israelis, and self-hating Germans. And it's all meant to grab every 15-year-old and say, I'm going to show you all the horrible things that your great-grandparents did to the poor Jews. You know what I'm speaking of. You've seen it. And one of the, I, I was in uh, Kofun, uh, the Mosentau, and I was talking with teachers. Uh, uh, there was a, a group of teachers from Israel who had come, and they had told the kids, You're not guilty of anything. I want you to know that. And then went into a procedure of talking about all the horrible things that happened to the few Jews that were in Kofun, and how they were deported, and how they were beaten. How they were taken away, everything they had was stripped away from them, and then they were uh, sent to their deaths. And I, I thought it was a very good talk. I learned a lot. And afterwards, I went over to a group of uh, boys and said, What did you think of the lecture? And one of them said, Screw her. She said, My grandfather did. And I said, No, she didn't. It's not what she said, it's what they heard. And you know this from being teachers. You know this from being teachers. You've trained yourself. We believe that turning uh, uh, stories, that, that we need to take Jewish history from a story about us and them to a story of, about us. When students can look at a Jewish story and say, this is a story about my town, about my multi-ethnicity, about my community, and my community had Jews in it, then they're going to want, then they'll want to learn about the home. Then they'll want to learn about the things that destroyed civil society. But in order to do that, you have to bring them into the tent first. And that's the whole reason that we make our films. And many of our films now, in Lithuania, in Serbia, and other places, in Macedonia, in Greece, we, uh, our stories always, not always, but many times, have a righteous Gentile. Because every kid and every non-Jewish kid has got to find the me in the story. They have to find the me. That's what I would do. And then the talk of civil society, which is why, Andy, I'm very happy about what we're doing now in Sarajevo and with Sarajevo. We have a whole point that we're using in South Carolina schools where they couldn't find Sarajevo on a map. We have an exhibition built on this kind of, where the, where, where the kids are watching a multimedia film that we have about La Benevolencia and what La Benevolencia did. And now you're turning what happened in Sarajevo during the 1990s into a story of civil society because there was a group of Holocaust survivors and their neighbors, who were Muslims and Serbs and Croats, no one I'm sure knows better than you do, uh, since you've been there for three years. Um, uh, and Sitsko, who's always cooking in the Jewish community, with this big white beard. Uh, and, this, and, and, and these are what the Jews in Sarajevo have been doing, working with their neighbors. Now that's a fabulous story to tell. Muslims and Jews working together, uh, and Serbs and Croats. Um, we even have this story being taught in schools in Serbia which shows that if you teach it right, you can reach it. That's it. So, uh, thank you very much. We'll, uh